Do you know the one piece of equipment that's most overlooked? I don't care if you're a professional shop or you're a do-it-yourselfer. This inexpensive solution can help take your work to the next level. If you're a professional painter, you already know the benefits of why you want to have clean medical grade air. I do not want to have water and oil mixing with my paints or primers. It can cause contaminants, but here's a feature that most people don't talk about. If I'm getting humidity from the air to the compressor and it just goes straight into the gun without a filtration system, basically I'm taking water and impregnating my raw steel or aluminum and it's mixing with my bare metal primers and it's essentially rusting that vehicle out before the vehicle's even born. And most people don't think of it like that. I want to have the cleanest humanly possible air at an affordable price. But this is not just for painters. I have a lot of money tied up in the air tools and pneumatic tools are still the king of the industry. How do I make it where these air tools won't go out in three to five years? I have some air tools that are 20 or 30 years old and by having a filtration system like this can actually add to the life of my tools. Most high-end body shops or professional shops will have multiple compressors. They might even have multiple rotary compressors in a drying unit before it goes out to a filtration system. Now, if you have unlimited money or resources, this is probably the best setup. But what about the rest of us who just have an 80 gallon, five horsepower air compressor? What do we do if we wanna have clean air? This is a typical three stage filter system. This is the DeVilvis DAD Pro, and they've been out there forever. I've used them, they're a great product. But the downside to these is they're very expensive. This guy is a thousand to $1,500, depending on what options you want and the cartridges and the filtration replacements are very expensive. The great thing about the Luma AirNet, it's essentially the same thing for one third of the price and all of these canisters are washable. Before we install this, let's have a basic understanding of how this unit works. Basically, there's a brass filter in here and air will come down and it creates like a Venturi effect, almost like a tornado. And all the water will slide down the sides of this test tube looking thing. And there's a drain here. Next, this is basically an oil filter. So if there's any oil or even water or any kind of debris, this will take out to 0.01 microns where this is five microns. So all it's doing is taking out more water, more debris in any oil that's coming in from the air compressor. Last but not least, this is the desiccant. If you've ever bought beef jerky, it came with that little pack that says, do not eat, that's desiccants. It's even taking out more debris, more water to give you that medical grade air. The air coming out of this bad boy is cleaner and drier than the air that I'm breathing right now. It will essentially make it cleaner and drier than the Sahara Desert. It's got a couple regulators right here so I can tell what PSI that I'm running at. And that's really cool because I can actually give myself more or less air pressure in the booth or wherever I'm spraying. And last but not least, it's got this gauge here that will tell me when my filters are getting dirty, when I need to clean them or replace them or replace the desiccant. We're out here at my buddy Jay's pole barn and him and his son Jack are restoring a 1985 Chevy truck. It's a square body, it's a K10. And they wanna be able to do all the mechanical, fab and body work at this location. Now I will admit, we're not gonna paint it out here. They could, but they wanna do everything in house as a father and son project. They already have a nice air compressor. They have an 80 gallon, five horse Ingersoll ran that produces around 16 CFMs. So they have enough for what they're trying to do. 
But the problem is, is we want to clean up the air and we want to clean it up as much as possible and we want to do it on a budget. So of course we're going to install the Luma AirNet system, but we're not going to come in and spend a bunch of money on dryers and stuff like that. We're going to show you a time tested and proven way that we can clean up this air on a budget. This air compressor already had a basic on off valve installed on it before we got here and we're going to leave it. And I think this is smart because if I ever want to service this air compressor, I can shut it off without draining all of the shop air. And I think any setup, any shop setup should have this installed. It's very inexpensive, very easy to do, and it should not be overlooked. From the on off valve, we're going to use a 50 foot 3 8 air hose. It can be larger in diameter, it can be longer, and we'll explain why we're using this, but we're gonna loop this from the floor to the ceiling multiple times before we go to our Luma air net. Now, because we're using a hose and we're not hard piping this in, we did have to go buy some reducers from our local hardware store. Every hardware store has them, they were inexpensive and cheap, but our air will travel through the three chambers and it'll go to the mono block. From the mono block, we're gonna have two hookups. One, just for our paint guns, because that's gonna be high flows. And then the other one is gonna go back to the supplied air for the shop. Now that we have it all installed and we did a leak test on it, and thank God nothing leaks, let me just show you what's going on in our philosophy of why we did it the way that we did it. This yellow hose, it's 50 foot, it comes from the air compressor, it loops around on some simple bicycle hooks. And the reason being is most of these filtration systems need to be 50 foot or farther from the compressor. That's not physical feet. So we have 50 foot goes into here, it runs through to the mono block, and I have style A's in the shop. So this goes back, the orange one goes back and it feeds all of the existing airlines in the shop. So the yellow is coming in and the orange is going out. This high flow will go here and this is what we'll paint off of. This is the supplied air shop and this is going to our reel. This compressor holds about 160 PSI on normal. The cool thing is, is I can actually regulate it to 80, 90, 100 pounds or what I want so I can change the shop air if needed. That's it, another perfect job. The installation is complete. Hey guys, I got some insider information and I probably shouldn't be talking about this, but the word around the campfire is, is Luma is in the process of adding a fresh air system that will work with this air net system in the future. If you're not familiar with the fresh air system, is those disposable respirators that we use, they're only taking out roughly 95% or less of the isocyanides. And breathing through a fresh air mask is absolutely the best for your health and for your future. But most guys working in a garage, most people starting the shop, we could never afford it. If and when this happens through Luma, this will be an affordable way to go fresh air. So I'm super excited about this. Hey, with any of the Luma products, you can use our discount code at checkout. Use the Refinish Media 7 code and it'll save you some money. The reason why I like this Luma product is it's one third of the price of some of the big names out there. And let's be honest, it works just as well. It does its job. Now this budget installation with this 50 foot hose, you're gonna to wanna to drain that every once in a while and don't forget to drain your tank as well. But ultimately this is replacing a high dollar air dryer. So this is a budget system that we've been using for many, many decades and it works if you drain it every once in a while. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us a lot. It helps us grow and it helps us to continue to make this content. If you like the Luma products, check out this video right here. Chris and Kurt have a complete lineup of products that are affordable, but yet they're professional grade. From all of us at Refinished Media, we want to say thank you until the next one.